fucking Get hungry. ready to greet another beautiful day. Do you want to keep going or are you stop in there? Oh, no, we can keep going. Okay. I need to grab some water. Okay, have fun. All right, guys. Welcome back to Let's Play Danganronpa. Do -do -do -do. Um, it's Cass and I here, and um, first things first, we need to head to the dining hall. We do, because we want food, because we a hungry bitch. Why did we just leave that rolling thing on our floor, by the way? Why did we pick it up? We're such an animal. Yeah, um, if you hadn't noticed, we're kind of the worst person. I mean, we're Even not worse the worst. This asshole. You know what the difference between us and this asshole is? This asshole doesn't leave his rolling thing on the floor. Yeah. His little roller on the floor. He's just, in general, the worst. Bum bum. Bum bum. Bum bum. Bum bum. bum, bum. bum, bum. <laughs> Titty. That is all. I think she has more than just titty to her personality, but yeah, sure. As I entered the dining the hall, part. the first thing I saw was her. <laughs> what are you staring at? Oh, Toko? What's your problem? What? You think your eyes will rot just by looking at me? What the heck? Fine, then don't look at me! I think he's just surprised to see you at the breakfast meetings, all. Indeed, it's been quite a while since you joined us. Um. Yeah, what made you change your mind? <laughs> Byaki said he likes a girl to have some meat on her bones, so. Titty. I'm gonna start eating. I'm gonna force it down into my stomach. I'm gonna eat till I drop. Okay. I refuse to lose. Hina. What? I wouldn't do that if I were you. Well, other than that, it looks like Kyoko is you know? here. Oh, she said she'd come by later. Later? No. Yeah, after you leave. Ooh. She's not even trying to hide it anymore. I know I said I, she wanted to, you to show some backbone, but you didn't need to show her that much. Just a second. You're dirty, Makoto. Dirty, President Dirty of Dirtylandia. You don't understand. You're the type who takes the stairs of love three steps at a time, aren't you? I'm telling you, it's not like that. What the heck? Shut up already, Sheena. You've been. You're running your filthy mouth like that all morning. Huh? Filthy? Me? <laughs> you don't make me repeat myself. Huh? I'm not filthy. <laughs> it's no use denying it. We can all see how disgusting you are. I'm uncomfortable. Huh? Just shut up. <gasps> you and that lusty body of yours. I'm very uncomfortable. Night after night, you go out for your illicit club meeting. Ooh. Hey, knock it off. I can't deal with dirty stuff like that. <laughs> your midnight <laughs> sexocurricular activity only put us in even more danger. I'm uncomfortable. Please, stop it. <gasps> You'd like me to... Stop, wouldn't you? Your sweaty hands gripping the big fat chalk tight. Yeah, chalk, that's the word you meant to say. You didn't just stutter. Going for all that extra credit, your screams are like the screech of a violated blackboard. What the fuck is happening? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm very uncomfortable. I'm I love Toko. I love you, Toko Fukawa. And, and... Amazing! And these ideas are coming to me one after another! Bastard! So would you rather have your black eye on the left or the right? <laughs> eee, sorry! 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 Hey, come on! Now let's leave Toko alone. She's got a little funny from all of her pent-up frustration. You know? Anyway, you and Kyoko need to make up already, you know? Yeah, I know. But I'm an idiot who can't even talk to Sakura to confirm what I know and then go and talk to Kyoko. I spent 15 hours doing nothing yesterday because I'm a fucking idiot. I know. Also, I might have a concussion. That actually explains a lot of what happened yesterday. 
And of course, I never mention to anyone that I have a concussion, because that would be too easy. I mean, of course I want things to get better as soon as possible, but with everything that's been going on, I haven't had a chance to talk to her about what I saw. Before anything, you talk to Sakura about it. Um, Sakura? What is it? Can you make some time later? I was hoping I could talk to you. Ah! Now that Kyoko's dumped and Makoto's going trying to win Sakura's heart? <laughs> are you in heat, Makoto? Don't care who they are as so long as you got great equipment. Wow. Watch out, Sakura! Makoto's transformed into a wild beast! Prime Minister Wild Beast of Beastopia! Why is this happening to me? Cannot talk wait until tomorrow. I'd like to get some rest today. No! The, one of my best friends currently thinks I'm an asshole. We need to settle this literally now. Follow me over here. Like, follow me into my room so no one can hear us. Let's talk about this. It'll be done in five minutes. <sighs> but I have no spine. For some reason, I'm feeling worn down these few, last few days. Huh? Huh? Are you sick? Did you get hurt? Mm. No, nothing serious. I've just had some minor aches and pains. It's probably from going freaking Super Saiyan kicking around the gym, fighting a bear. Huh? Is that... Must be because of that panel. Um... But it must be pretty bad if you have to go rest. Are you sure you're okay? Mm. I'm sure a protein shake and some sleep will get me back on my feet. You got it! Yo, that rhymes! Yeah, uh, not really, but yeah. Eep and eat do not rhyme. Shut up. It does sound like it the way you say it, though. That's true. Protein is good for all kinds of stuff. It's putting poison in. Oh my god. You guys, like, worship protein. It's like your god or something. Okay. Makoto, I don't know what it is you want to talk to Sakura about, but save it till tomorrow. She's in pain. Yeah, I got I'm it. Sorry. You know? Well, for now, let's eat. Gee, I'm kind of nervous. Huh? What's your problem? C -c -c don't you really eat in front of other people? You ever think I was a kid I'd eat by myself? What the heck? What about your family? Mm -hmm. Oh well, I used to live with my dad, my mom, and my mom. Oh. Huh? You had two moms? <laughs> what? That's just how things were. That's like a serious issue. <sighs> Polygamy is not allowed. Just let it go. You're asking for trouble getting involved with her more than you have to. <laughs> How dare you speak to me with that disgusting mouth of yours. Stop. Can she please dirty talk me like that? Come on, Toko, please. S stop saying stuff like that. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and eat. If I don't, Kyoko will never show up. Pretty miserable situation, man. <laughs> I scarfed down breakfast as fast as I could and immediately headed back to my room. And that was when I was realized it was free time. Already. I'll have to wait till tomorrow to confront Soccer about what I saw. But in a way, I'm kind of relieved. It takes a lot of courage to stand face to face with Soccer and accuse her of something. Free time. Alright. Report card. So we haven't hung out with anyone. Got it. Wait, no, we hang out with the uh, Owie. What? Did it save multiple pages for Owie? Okay. I swear to God, um, we hung out with Owie. Or was it? Sakura? We hung up with Celeste at one point. Yeah, I remember that, but yeah. I thought we hung up. Hey! I'm a Saul's Owie. What up? I weigh. 
A lot more in there, though. Uh. Um. Oh man, Kyoko's taller than me. Wait, go to Toko. Yeah. Should I pass? Oh, okay. Five four. Yeah. She's taller than me. Hell yeah, top me, daddy. Sorry. <clears throat> Anyone else? How tall is Sakura? Oh so man. Great. Can soccer top me? God damn. Alright, um... So who do we want to hang honest, out with? I'm gonna be honest, I'm not sure soccer would be top. Mm, I feel like she would. She'd be a I gentle, like, kind top. I feel like that's a possibility, but also the possibility that she might actually be a bottom who just looks like a top at first glance. You know the type. I don't think so. But you know who yes. is a bottom? Biyaki Atogami. That bottom ass little bitch. Yeah. Damn, he's six foot one. That's a good height. I don't like that though. He's rude. I'm gonna be very real with you. I fucking hate this game. I'd want to fuck like half of these characters. I hate this game. All the female ones, and then I hate this game. Like half the male ones. You hate it because you're the same height as. Tajiri. Yeah. I know. I'm gonna be honest. I really hope that it's just with his hair. I really hope he's actually about like a full foot shorter than that. He's 5'11", really. The hair gives him a few more inches. 5'11 is... what? Yeah. It's one inch! He's 5'2". He's five five what? I don't he's, think he's that short. He is 5'2 with 10 inches of hair. Okay. <laughs> Standing straight up. So... What? Shut up a little right. dream. Who should we hang out with? We should hang out with Aoi, I guess. We like Aoi. Yeah. Considering um, I may have looked up the gift guide and immediately looked for Aoi, because I thought we were already doing her. I don't know why I thought yeah. that. I mean, we can do her anytime. Hell yeah. I'd have sex with Aoi. Mm -hmm. Honestly, I've realized that being pansexual just means that you'd fuck like every woman that exists, and like a handful of men. <sighs> um, I, I can't. What? Ah, this is the worst. Bye, bitch. <laughs> Bye, bitch. I need to confirm. Is his ability of any of use at all? Who? Hagakure is? Yeah. Um. Look that up for me. Well, I go in yeah. and hang out with the good person. Too bad all the characters are so two dimensional in this game. At least they have shadows. Mm. <laughs> Owie trying to figure out how to give a hand job. <laughs> Pushing on him doesn't help. Smacking him doesn't help. What the heck is up with those things? Yeah. Hmm. Uh. So the two skills you get from Kerr, uh, Hero, are Loss and Thought, which increases the time limit for each phase, and Crystal Prediction, which decreases an argument to three statements or less, effective during the non-stop debate in Bullet Time Battle Final Strike. Those aren't even that helpful. They, they're only helpful if you were running out of time, which I'm not, because I'm not an idiot. They're helpful for idiots, got it. Mm. Yes. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, sorry. I'm talking about the metal plates covering all the windows, uh. and definitely not dicks. Ah, I know. We should try grabbing the top and yanking down on it. Also, the okay, I'll grab your top and yank down. <laughs> okay. So for Hero, one of those skills you get, you get from hanging out with him for the first time. Uh, the Lost in Thought one, which increases the time limit. You get that for hanging out with him once. Hina, you only get them on the 4th and the 6th event. So, it'll take some more time for Hina, but yeah. I've, uh, never run out of time, so I'm not really concerned. Yeah. You got it! What? Kiss? Yeah, no. You wanna do some stretches with me? Fold Hina's lead into some elaborate stretching. Hina and I grew a little closer today. Would you like to give Hina a present? 
No, really, no. yes, definitely. All right, I want you to look through the first 10 gifts and tell me what you think you're supposed to give her. Or, sorry, the first 15. Flotation donut. There you go. Yeah. A gigantic donut that doubles the flotation device. Naturally, you can snack on it while floating out to sea. It comes in a variety of styles. That's disgusting. Yeah, I don't know. Why that's disgusting. Like, if oceans were actually just water filled with salt, that's fine. But they're filled with so much shit and piss. You know. <laughs> How thoughtful. This is why I like you, Makoto. I mean, eh, not like, like, not that kind of like. Seeing this so pleased with something I gave her makes me happy. Hmm. Oh man, oh man. What's up? I'm getting totally fired up! What? How come? How come doesn't matter? Now that I'm revved up, I need to get it out! Let's race! Yep, I have a donut and that means I need to race someone. I don't think that's a good idea. I wouldn't stand a that's chance right. anyway. Really? Well, I don't mind a solo run. Well, hold on. You always seem so excited to that. Huh? Hey, are you making fun of me? No, I'm just impressed. Really? I used to know this one guy. He was always like, Hina, you're like a super spaz. Super spaz? Yeah, yeah like he'd see me wearing shorts in winter and he'd say stuff like that. Hmm. But if you lose to the cold like that, it just means you weren't dedicated enough. Oh, you did stuff like that and didn't get Why sick? Getting sick is for the week. If you're really dedicated, winter means even lighter clothes. As I've said before, Idiots don't get sick. It's all part of your training. But luckily she's a lovable idiot. Training, huh? So, like, are you the type who gets sick easy? Actually, yeah. See, you're soft. You need more training. <laughs> you can make me more day. Okay. I'm sorry. Uh... Uh, moving on. Okay, I've got the perfect remedy to keep someone like you fit as a fiddle. Huh? What yeah. kind of remedy? Actually, I do this myself every morning. I just want to make so many jokes. You just strip down to your waist and then take a dry towel and start rubbing down your bare skin. I call it a... Huh? What do I call it again? A way to keep healthy by stripping down and rubbing a towel across your skin? Let's take a shot of this. What do we think it is, Gabe? I mean, towel treatment makes sense, but she's kind of a spaz, so bamboo beatdown? Which one? Uh, it's the obvious one. Okay, towel treatment. Is it something like towel treatment? Oh my god, yeah, that's it! I love going out on my apartment balcony, stripping down and feeling the wind on my skin. God, it feels so amazing. I never let a morning pass without getting in a good rub down. That's lewd, and also, your neighbors absolutely... Oh, God. Wait, so you went out on your balcony and stripped down, and you were okay with that? You should give it a try. If you haven't gotten your health, you haven't got anything. I'd hate to see you catch a cold or something. Hina's report card has been updated based on your experience with her. Your maximum number of skill points has increased. Hey, look, you go. After being introduced to a unique sickness prevention met method, I went back to my room. Yeah, that was a thing that happened. Mm. Aoi, I love you, but God. You're... It's not that she's stupid. It's that she's a bit of a ditz. It mm -hmm. doesn't exactly always think of what something could mean. And then overthinks what other things could mean. I don't feel like just sitting here. I should go somewhere. Okay. Of course she's in the dining hall. Yep. Oh, hey, Jack. Bye, Jack. I really wish it said Jack. I need a mod for this game that fixes that.
I like how technically we could go hang out with the soccer right now. We could just go talk to her. Have this conversation. It's not a, like a, oh hey, let's go on a mile run with me. It's a, hey, let's sit down and talk about this. She won't even hang out with you right now, by the way. Just so you know. I figured. Also, um, you can hang out with Genocide, but you have to finish Toko first to do so. Okay. So Each and every do my... person has to do their job. The cooperation of each player is true teamwork. You got it. What'd you say? So whenever I try to go after everything, that'll be helpful information. Yeah. That's a quote from the famous rugby player Yuji Matsuo. We gotta do the same thing. Cooperate so we can survive. Hmm. Should I hang out with him for a while? Yeah. You wanna go for a run to relieve some of the stress? He and I went for a light run through the school. He and I grew a little closer today. Would you like to give me a present? Yes, definitely. Alright, go four up from the donut. Sonic cup no. Up, Bucker not song. down. Birdseed. No. Four. Kitten. There you go. Yeah. Yes. I just got this earlier before we started this recording, and also, this is up, Cassie. <laughs> no, I meant in number, because this yeah, is I number know. 16 I, I... and that's number 12, so you go up in number. Yeah, but it, it doesn't tell me numbers, sadly. Well, I'm looking at numbers, so. A hair clip in the shape of a little kitten. Also, uh, Sakura Perfect likes that, that for some reason. Uh, but also the people that love it are Hina, Junko, and Sayaka, so Hina's the only one left. <laughs> oh, it's a good thing I got this now. <laughs> yeah, very read this. <laughs> Seeing Hina's the place that I gave her, yeah, yeah. Is something wrong, Hina? I've reached my limit. Just a second. I'm stuck in here! I can't do any sports, can't do anything! I'm sick of it! She just uses her limit breaking balls at the wall. <laughs> I want to get out under the sun and do some laps, run a marathon. I want to do some real sports. You know, calm down, okay? I can't do anything in here. If I can't move around, I'm going to die like a bunny rabbit. Why's the bunny rabbit going to die? But I always heard rabbits die from loneliness. Whatever. I'm going to die if I can't get some proper physical activity. Just go swim, do dumb that... bitch. Don't you think that's a little extreme? You think I'm kidding, don't you? But I seriously can't sit still, you know? ADHD. Why else would I have joined six sports teams in school? That's six? Exactly. Yeah, track, base, basketball, softball, volleyball, tennis, and the big one. The big one? Wait, what? She Why would I say the big one? Question juice. mark. <laughs> because she's dumb. Okay. <laughs> Going it's obviously home. swimming. I am in the going home club. <laughs> I joined ya. seven clubs. I joined swimming, softball, basketball, tennis, uh, swing again, and then the going home club. You mean sports swimming, right? Yeah, you got it. God, I don't even care what stroke it is. Just get me in a pool under the blue sky. But isn't it hard to do that many sports even for you? If I can't move, I'll just shrivel up and die. And I need a challenge. More and more new stuff to try. A challenge? Yes, I mean... What I really love about sports isn't winning, you know. It's having to fight and struggle and give it all you've got to reach the top. It's that excitement, that fear that you might suffer a heartbreaking loss. But... When you finally reach that goal, it's just lonely. It's lonely at the top, you know. I never really got into sports, so I couldn't really relate to what she was talking about. But I could tell that reason he was so amazing was how hard she could fight and struggle. Um, so that's why I want to push myself as hard as possible when it comes to swimming. I want to aim for the very highest mountaintop. The highest mountaintop? I'm talking about the gold medal, of course. Aim for the gold, even if it means I'm a super gold spaz. Did she just call herself... Okay, but if that's what you want, isn't that all the more reason? If you have a goal, why are you staying around making excuses? Excuses? Just a second! Hey! When did I ever make any excuses? Sure, maybe we're stuck here right now with no way out. 
But if you really want to t make the effort, shouldn't you try to see what you can do in here? <laughs> Get wrecked through logics and facts. Facts and logic, whatever. That's a challenge! You just made an official challenge! Yeah, totally. But I think you're right. If I want to get that gold medal, I have to make every effort I can. I want to become a genius of effort. I bet Ian Thorpe said something like that. Okay. Yeah, I can't go around making excuses just because we're stuck in here. Alright, I think I'm going to go do some push-ups in my room. Like, maybe around a thousand or something. Almost before she was done talking, Nina took off like a bat out of hell. She recovered exactly as fast and strong as I would have expected. Nina's report card has been updated based on your experience with her. Max number of skill points has increased. Hey, we'll get you go. Once we were all done, I headed back to my room for a little while. Also, you know what's funny? The skill that you get from uh, genocide, I'm going to say because there's no way we can do it, but um, the skill you get from genocide is um, trigger happy. Yeah? Trigger happy havoc. Ha <laughs> I get it. Ding dong bing Roll ball. credits. Attention! Attention! Please oh. gather in the gym as soon as you possibly can. Quickly, 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 quickly! Incentive, I guess. He made a special announcement to ask us to come to the gym. He sounded pretty serious about it, too. Well, Sakura, get fucked. What? I don't know. Assuming it's has to be with Sakura. You don't think it's just another motive? It could be a motive. Or it could be something that would uh, directly be motive at Sakura. That way. Over here. A motive can be targeted. Yeah. And uh, he said that she would regret it. Mm. Okay. And she's the one standing in here. Huh. You're the last one. Everyone else is already inside. Are you gonna go in? However, I have a bad feeling about this. Yo, mood. More than just a feeling, probably. Monokuma did call us all together. After all. Well, Sakura? Then. Makoto. If something happens to me, Hina. I'm sorry. Huh? No, never mind. So then. I'm. Who would ever believe in someone who doesn't believe in themselves? Um, Sakura? This would have been the time to say, hey, I saw what happened the other night, but, like, we're bros. We can get through this. We're bros. We're brosefs, we're chachos, broskies. You want some brewskies? Broski? Sorry. Everyone must have heard the announcement, and once we were all gathered at the gym, it began. Man, look how little people we have now. Oof. Like you said, there's only seven people left. Yeah. It's in my head, I was like, is that right? Yeah, it is. <laughs> I'm dumb. Yeah. I thought there was 16 to begin with, but you're right, there was a missing spot. Okay, let's get this show on the road! I mean, actually, there are 16 spots, because Monica was a spot. I mean, yeah, so but yeah, he's not right. a student. There's eight. There's eight of us he left. He sits in his throne. Also, there's both Toko and Genocide Jack. Ah, uh, they count as one. Doesn't matter. Genocide so really, Jack is not a people. student of Hope's Peak Academy. We have nine people. You're about to give us your next motive presentation, aren't you? That's right. You got us all together to present another motive, right? <laughs> right? Huh? Do we have to go through this again? <laughs> no, not again. I can't take it anymore. See. I'm impressed by all of them, just May. You finally see just how low well on the totem pole of your life you really are. <laughs> No, 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 <laughs> That's not at all. We're not here to talk about motive. Hey, the reason I gather you all here is that I could get rid of my grudge. Mm. Your what? grudge? We have a grudge against you, of course, but I don't recall you ever having a grudge against us. Yeah, this is what I thought it was. 
I told you yesterday, didn't I? An eye for an eye, a fang for a fang. Stop beating around the bush. Just tell us what you're talking about. <laughs> no, Bianca, you already told everyone how you might be working as a spy for me. Come right? On. Yeah, so what about it? Well, today I'd like to tell you about hey, that spy. Um... So, guess what? <laughs> this spy is actually Sakura Ogami! Said it so openly, it made it sound like it did... wasn't that big of a deal. What? Why does it... Okay, just a second. Sorry, my uh, controller is fucking up. So, Makoto said what in there? Even though he just revealed a huge secret. He said it was what Sakura. What, what are you talking about? You're a liar! There's, there's no way Sakura's a spy. Um... Right, Sakura? Huh? Sakura? <laughs> I might just make Sakura feel the promise you made sometime soon. And if she doesn't, I can't be held responsible for what happened to that hostage of mine. Anyway, that's all I wanted to say. What you guys choose to do with that information is up to you. Kills, kills, kills. Roaster, boiler, killer, don't kill her, whatever. I can't wait! I can't wait! I can't, I can't wait! Just like that, he was gone. Finally understood what he had been talking about. An eye for an eye, a fang for a fang. In other words, betrayal met with betrayal. What the heck? Um, what does this mean? Is it true? Has Ogaru been spying on us for the mastermind? What are you saying? There's no way! <laughs> but that is what the stuffed animal said, right? Wrong. You're wrong! Well, he's wrong! There's just no way! Hey. Well, Sakura, if he's wrong, I'll... If he's yeah. wrong, all you have to do is tell us. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I didn't tell you earlier. Huh? What? Oh, no! Is it serious for serious? Ogre's been working for the mastermind? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah. Suck, oh, you've been lying to you all this time? Huh? It's not true. Soccer was probably being controlled. I don't remember which rule, but one of the rules of the Decalogue you cannot make a claim without any kind of scientific backing. You cannot just say, oh, magic or scientific gizmos made me do it. Aliens couldn't have done it. Etc, etc. Th there's gotta be some reason. She didn't have a choice. She was forced to do it. Yeah, I'm sure he is right. The mastermind probably threatened her somehow. Sakura had no choice but to do what yeah. she was told. You what? You're... Talking like you know that for a fact! Because I do know it for a fact. Because I saw it. I saw Sakura and Monokuma fighting. And that's where I heard it. Monokuma mentioned a hostage a second ago, right? And during their fight, I heard Sakura say she decided to fight against the Mastermind. I see. You saw all that. The Mastermind took a hostage, so you were forced to swear loyalty to them, right? But in the end, you made up your mind to betray the Mastermind. Which means Sakura isn't our enemy. She's a friend who you can trust without question. Is that it? Ridiculous. Do you live in some sort of alternate reality fairy tale? She was the Mastermind's tool. You absolutely cannot trust someone like that. He's right. We can't just believe whatever she says now. How can we even be sure she did betray the Mastermind? Maybe this is a double bluff. She's still doing exactly what the Mastermind wants. Sakura would never do that! <laughs> okay then, Sakura, if you really have cut ties to the Mastermind, tell us who they really are. Well... I'm sorry. Sorry, I can't. Even I do not know that. What? You don't know? That just makes you all the more suspicious. Please! She's telling the truth! You have to believe her! Don't make me repeat myself. Shut up, I'm not finished questioning oh. her. Next question, what's this about a promise? What did the Mastermind order you to do? I was told... <clears throat> to kill one of my friends. It suddenly felt like the temperature in the room had dropped 20 degrees. The weight of those words. I see, so even now you've taken eight more lives. You're wrong! I'm telling you, Sakura would never do that! What the heck? You don't have to yell, we can hear you fine. Don't you have an inky eye voice? 
You are not one to talk, Toto. It's because you're not listening to me! Wait. Please stop, you don't need to defend me anymore. <sighs> I have to take full responsibility for this. However... How do you intend to do that? <sighs> By destroying the mastermind. I... What? I'm going to challenge them, even if it means we both go down. I will defeat them. I'm sorry. That is how I intend to take responsibility. Huh? Hold on! What do you mean if you both go down? Hina. Hina, I am sorry I didn't tell you about this. Huh? What? I'm sorry. I didn't know what to do. I went back and forth about confiding in you again and again. Well. But I was scared. I thought if I told you, you might think less of me. But... but... Sakura? I'm sorry. Sakura turned away from us and left the gym. And then... Ding dong, bing bong. Hmm. <clears throat> this is a school announcement. It is now 10 p.m. As such... It is officially night time. Soon the doors to the dining hall will be locked, and entry at that point is strictly prohibited. Okay then, sweet dreams everyone. Good night, sleep tight. Don't let the bed bugs bite. Hmm. Oh, it's night time, we should all go to bed. No way! Hold on, this whole thing with soccer is- Don't make me repeat myself. Over. She's our enemy. There's nothing more to discuss. No! Sakura is not our enemy! Why? Why doesn't anyone understand her? What? Why is it that you... Th what is it that you think you understand? You didn't even know who she really what was. Is this? That's... Calm down. <sighs> Let it go for now, Hina. Talking about it isn't going to help anything. Why? But... Anyway... Go to your room, cool down, and we can continue this discussion tomorrow. Get put on a time out. It was the worst. The mood at the end of the night was just the worst. The bra Being in such an awful move. The German sausage of moods. <laughs> we were honestly glad the day was over. That would have been the time to, you know... Pull her aside and say, yeah, that's what I couldn't say because I was trying to talk to her about it for Sakura is the spy. She's the traitor. Bianca said Sakura is the enemy, but he's wrong. She's not my enemy. She's my friend without a doubt. What can I do? What can I do to make everyone believe in Sakura? How? Monokuma Theater. As long as you're human, they will always come to a point where you wish you could do things differently. Even a baseball player in the major leagues, even a soccer player touring Europe, even a famous singer who started his career as a backup dancer on a sketch comedy show. She makes a brilliant debut, but instead of going for more, she marries some third-rate actor and retires. Every human has regrets, has things they'd like but to go I back and change. I'm a bear. I'd like to headcanon that these are all Makoto's dreams that he's having, all the Monokuma theaters. I assumed that was correct. I don't think it is, but it's it'd be funny to think about. I mean, I don't know what it was besides that, so considering it happens while Makoto is sleeping, either Monokuma is sitting there doing his little little podcast, mm -hmm. or Makoto has some really fucked up dreams every night. Which, yeah. Both are cool, morning, completely everyone. rational things. It is get ready to greet another beautiful, beautiful day. day. I love that line right there. I hate it. Beautiful day! I'm worried about soccer. I need to hurry up and get to the dining hall. Does anyone really assume that she's gonna be there? We get to see a fun thing today. Is it her taking huge amounts of protein powder? Uh, no. You'll see it when you go in the dining hall. Kyoko, good morning. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, it's not just Kyoko. Ever since Monokuma summoned us last night, the atmosphere right here has gotten really heavy. I can almost feel it looming over us, weighing us down. <sighs> well, if nothing else, I need to patch things up with Kyoko as soon as possible.
Let's go, bitch. Let's go. Let's go. Uh, um. Let's go. Uh, Makoto, are you okay? Oh, huh? what do you mean? <laughs> you were late. Yo, we were worried about you. <laughs> what a dull word. Taco Biakia, what are you doing here? They're taking refuge here. Such ignorance. Don't make that stupid face. We have to protect ourselves against the Mastermind's tool. The Mastermind's... Are you talking about Sakura? That's when I finally noticed the only one that wasn't in the dining hall was Sakura. Oh, well, where is Sakura? Stop talking. All I know is, if she were here, I wouldn't be. The only reason I went out my way to join the rest of you was to safeguard against that threat. What threat? Is this? Why? Why do you hate her so much? Naturally. Isn't it obvious? Because this makes things unfair. Unfair. The game should be fair to all players. The existence of a spy for the mastermind upsets that balance. What the heck? That's a stupid reason. What did you say? Stupid. This is a life or game. A life or game. Life or death game, is it not? It is stupid. You're a stupid idiot. Hey. Before you get too far into the argument, maybe you should stop and think things through. Why did the mastermind reveal that Sakura is a spy to us? What the heck? They were getting revenge on her, right? Like Monokuma said, an eye for an eye. However. That may be part of it, but it's not the whole picture. It's also to entice her, to incite her as a motive. It was a motive. Revealing, Revealing that fact motive. was also meant to serve as the next motive the Mastermind wanted to give us. The chaos and confusion born from suspicion, the hatred. In other words. In other words, this right here, the fighting, the bickering, is the trap the Mastermind laid for us. Knowing that, you will stand there and argue like children? But... Th that's not what I'm trying to do, it's just... I mean, how can I get you guys to believe in Sakura again? She has to get through this without killing someone or dying. That would, you know, give a lot more faith in her. If she can really beat the Mastermind like she said, that'd go a long way in my mind. Idiot, you'd really ask her to do something so dangerous? What if something terrible happens to her? Hmm. Interesting. It wouldn't matter. What? If Sakura were to die, that's one less person for the Mastermind to control. I have no problem with that. Hold on, <laughs> Byakuya! In fact, if she did die, that would settle this entire issue, wouldn't <laughs> it? It would put the whole problem to rest. Ay, 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 ay! Yes, bitch! Yes, slap a bitch, slap a bitch, slap a bitch, slap a bitch! Yes. Toko yes, in the background is yes, my favorite yes, part yes. of this, to be honest. You disgust me! You're, you're a monster! Also, she backhanded him. Yeah, she bitch slapped a bitch. Bow. Like, bitch slaps normally with your open hand. Bow. This was a backhand. Bow. To say something like that, it should have been you. You should have been the one to die. He should have. I wish he was what? dead. So bad. I should have died? Yeah, you should have. Interesting. Interesting. Then are you planning to take care of that yourself? Go ahead, try it if you dare. That's how it works here, after all. You think I can't do it? Hina, That's calm down. This is exactly what the Mastermind wants, and it's exactly what Sakura doesn't want. Hmm. What's wrong? Lost your nerve. I'm leaving. I'll be in my room. Trembling with anger, Hina ran off. Yeah, stupid cow! How dare he! He should die a thousand decks! No, a million! So she was just another hysterical little girl, hardly worth my attention. It's what other people call having feelings, Byakuya, and all you can do is mock them for it, you fucking hmm. sociopath. What's wrong with that? A friendly word of warning, someday that attitude is going to come back and bite you. Hard. I don't have time to play with you. Now I happily elude its attempts. So, uh, um, you know, how about we, uh, eat? Or maybe now's nope. not a good time. <laughs> uh, shut the fuck up, hero. Without a word, each of us left the dining hall. We headed back to our rooms one by one. So, are we gonna hang out today? Woo. 
So, what should I do today? Uh, I don't even know if we can hang out with Allie, but you can try! Man, bitch, you lied. You fucking lied. That's not your room. You no know? one is in the room. I know, but Owie said she was going to her room at least. Makoto, did you want something? Should I talk to Hina for a while? About that. Were you worried about me? Sorry. That's nice of you. Hina was quite depressed, but I did what I could for her. Hina and I grew a little closer today. Yes. So, I'm gonna need you to go down. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Oh! Can we... da -da 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 back. Right there. Right there. That one. She's sick? Yes, she's sick. She's the only one that loves it. Jahiro, Leon, and Most Taka people... like it. Oh. Most people consider it a throwaway watch due to its poor quality. Still, it enjoys mass and popularity due to its low price. Thanks to its low Makes price. Makes sense. For me? Thanks, Makoto. This makes me feel a little better. Yeah. Yeah. Motherfucker. Okay, that was I, I was expecting me to say any response. Was I able to cheer her up a little? <laughs> That's it! Wild. Alright. Uh. There wasn't anything? Okay. Um, well, there's supposed to be, so I'm confused. Uh, maybe because she's depressed right now, we don't get the events? That sucks. Do you want to try hanging out with someone else then? Just because... I'm going to try... I'm going to save. I'm going to hang out with her once again if it doesn't do anything. Oh. Yeah. We should have gotten an event from that. So that means we just wasted that item. Damn it. And that day... We have other items. It's, it's too awesome. Sorry. Yeah. She won't even let you hang out now. Can you hang out with soccer? That would be stupid. I'm sorry. Nope. <laughs> Why are you in the dining hall if you don't want anyone to hang out with you? No. They want to be alone together. Yeah, in their rooms. Come on, you guys can fuck there. You can't fuck in the dining hall. I mean, you can fuck in the dining hall. I mean, I guess. <sighs> Guys, next time on Let's Play Danganronpa, we're gonna keep hanging out with people. No one dies in Danganronpa, so nothing bad will happen. Nope. No one ever dies in Danganronpa. <sighs> See you all next time. Damn, I did not know. Seriously, this is so fucking, this is so fucking bullshit, though. Ah!